It's the Column Tarot Podcast. We are joined by Rachel Feinstein. Ah, Feinstein. thank you. I literally might have just said it wrong again, did I? You No, you said it right. You said it right. I, but now I get confused because I second guess it now. Well, I mean, when it I came argue. in, you you called me an uppity kike, which I thought was <laughs> jarring, but you did offer me a water. That's and, um, the, yeah, I know you they, Jews that, yeah, are always dehydrated. Yeah. Yeah, first you asked if I could smell coins from over 70 miles away, <laughs> and that was surprising, but... Well, I hope you're ready for some Palestine questions. <laughs> I've got some real Hamas issues I want to grill you and your people about. <laughs> Have you been... Do people ask you questions Speaking about engaged, that? Speaking of engagement, mm, <laughs> um, um, Do people grill you over that type of stuff? The, the Israel and I Hamas think people them? know that I... Like how, Jew, have, how no, Jewish are you? I think, if you to give I think you a, people know that I have little information about. Yes, them. that's true. Yeah, yeah. But I think people, that people can it. tell that I'm like not a source of. I'm not going to have like a fresh take. Yeah. yeah. What's out of ten? How Jewish are you? What would you say? Um, teeming with Jew. Teeming. <laughs> no, my dad is Jewish. My mom converted. Uh, she was Methodist and became Jewish, and um, I was raised Jewish, and I had a bat mitzvah. Okay. Yeah. So you did all that. Yeah, yeah. Very Jewish family. And now I have this, like, aggressively Jewish. So at this point, yeah. And what about the, the husband now? Is he... He's Catholic. He's Irish Catholic. Catholic. Okay. Yeah. Not Irish Irish, just, you know, Irish, Irish background. Yeah, Irish yeah. enough. Uh, not as Irish as this. No, By the no, way, no. Well, this could come out on St. Patrick's Day. I doubt it. But I ordered this for St. Patrick's Day because I'm... You was, did? Yeah, yeah, I ordered some Irish shit because That's I'm, so funny because it's like, it's so generic. It, like, it seems like what a casting director would give like a guy <laughs> at a bar from I, Ireland. Well, I thought it, it kind of looked uh, relatively... What part of Ireland are you from? I'm from Dublin. Dublin, oh, okay. Yeah, so have you ever been over? Yeah, yeah, a couple times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did the fests yeah. and stuff? We went to, um, uh, wait, it starts with a D. Dar- I can't remember the name of it. Dar- Dar- Donegal. Donegal. No, it was like less, like nobody respected it. They were like, why did you go there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so my friend, (laughs) (laughs) so like one of our, like my cousin growing up Mm -hmm. uh, married an Irish guy and, and, um, you know, I like uh, performed their weddings. Is that what you say? No. Initiated? Not initiated. That's wrong. That's all wrong. You priested it. I priested it. Yeah. Yeah, I rabbied it. And so, um, and anyway, when I, I met some of his family and they were like, I, I don't know, I met somebody and they were like, oh, you should go to Drahada. And then his his mother, her mother was like, oh, yeah, you know, Simon's whole family is there. So you could, you could go see them yeah. and hang out with them and they'll show you all around. And so we um, so we went there and um, just called them and everybody was like busy and then we yeah. were just there for like three days Boy, are they like third cousins type of thing it's like you know how far i think removed. it was like probably my fault we probably didn't play it ahead i just was like oh yeah it'll be real, real excited that we arrived and they were like beat it yeah of course yeah I can, I yeah can imagine. their own lives it's like who gives a shit yeah yeah we, I don't, we're go, we don't have any really. i was just going around draw head like dropping their names there was a sadness oh to nice it. yeah a lot of the, the but Mar- we went all around that the country yeah because i was there for to do a festival in Dublin, and then we went up to uh, Giants Causeway. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we went all around, and yeah, yeah. I'm sure it was a magical, magical time. It but was. Americans do that; they go over and then they try to reconnect with their the family. That's but you couldn't have that in less in common, really, than someone than a great no, grandfather. It was this dumb plan. They wanted us to get the hell. Out. We were just like <laughs> cock blocking their lives, and they wanted nothing to do with. It. I respect how upfront they were. They were like, "No, absolutely thanks. not." They yeah. said, "All right, nice to meet you." It was radio it. silence from their entire <laughs> camp, and then we were just in Drogheda. Yeah. yeah, but Americans have this longing for you know their history and stuff like that, and when you have it, you don't want it. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, I guess you're right. No yeah. one in my family's ever done the uh, ancestry thing i did it yeah i just did you it did actually it? yeah a little while ago did you yeah. get in good um i i got i found out like i'm like 50 percent russian polish jew and then like irish scottish just mixture like mutt on my yeah, mom's bit side of a, yeah just a little bit of everton yeah, yeah that's what i think most Dutch, people are but yeah. no one in ireland does it no one ever bothers no one really yeah but, you don't need to well probably yeah. almost the irish but people just don't give a fuck about their history you know yeah, but then you would just find out you're from Ireland anyway. Like, I already yeah. knew I was lactose intolerant because I'm, okay. yeah, like, we're known for our digestive issues. That's a Jew yeah. thing or an Italian? That's like a Jewish thing. Like, yeah, we don't Italian. eat, we can't eat dairy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I knew God. that I was just kind of like a weak <laughs> smear of a person. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, people, I feel like because I have a Jewish name, people assume that I'm, like, also very educated because mm. I'm sarcastic and Jewish, but I have no information. Okay, yeah, you yeah. don't really know what no. the ins and outs, what, whatever. No, do you? No. Were you, did you study in school? Did you, like... No, I do have a degree. 
but I, I like I never. You went to college. I went to college, business. Business, yeah. Business studies or business ma- business management actually. Mm, very yeah. high end. Yeah, never used it in the once in a day in my life. Yeah, I heard yeah. you come from money. Is that what you heard? <laughs> no, That's I the just, rumor <laughs> on the street. That be so funny. It's a good funny. rumor to get started. But you never know, as well, and especially in <laughs> I comedy. I like to start about myself on elevators. I'm like, oh, she comes from old money. <laughs> And then they're just like, it's only you here. I've never yeah. had anyone in my life be like, just assume that I have some fucking. It's a good, it's a good rumor. I'm to just get too going. classless. I'm going to get going about you. I'm they, like, they let her know. Comes from old, I'm going to say old money. Especially yeah. now. I've, you know, I've had sushi and stuff. I'm not, not doing too bad. <laughs> Things have changed. <laughs> sushi. Tortilla chips. You <laughs> must be classy. Honestly, growing up and having sushi was kind of like this elaborate kind of fancy thing. And now, now I'm, now I'm, now I've been in America long. I want more. I want. That, that was back in the day when you were a single guy. That's how you got ass. You told him you were, you know, you'd had sushi before. That's Yeah, they like it. They mm-hmm. fucking, oh, he knows his way around. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, that, that, that's, you, you learn a lot of shit, though, coming over to America. You know, you kind of kind of catch up. It's very humble, shitty beginning. In what way? Just like there's so many different foods and brands and shit like that. <laughs> but don't you feel like you get a good reception here? Like Americans, yeah, like I feel like they... Yeah, like you said, they want kind of want to be Irish. They're sort yeah, of yeah. Who loves us? Yeah, for sure. I would like think an, you would get an initial like surplus of ass coming to the country. Oh, with the with women. Yeah, initially. Yeah, specific. Yeah, yeah specific. Yeah, I was, day, yeah, I was an Irish bartender. Yeah. I was an Irish bartender, and oh, I would yeah. do all right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Comedy Certainly. too obviously helps too. Comedy's better than pop. Comedy has to be the best job. Yeah. For for you guys. Yeah. For you guys, yeah. Mm-hmm. For girls, it's, you don't want to meet anyone. For the women, you don't want to meet a guy at the show because he's... They don't want to meet us. No, there's a real supply and demand issue for a female comic. It's no guy's fantasy. And the guy you meet is probably some fucking psycho, right? I've never never met a guy at a show. Like, yeah, never, ever. Yeah, I just never heard that. Doesn't happen. Yeah. But but it's nice for a guy because if you go up to a, a girl in the bar and you're like, hey, can I talk to you? And they go, no. Whereas here you go, like, everyone shut up. Let me, let me talk for 20 minutes. It's like the perfect Yeah. Situation. Yeah, and then it's all rehearsed, so they think you're funny all the time. It's fucking, it's terrific. It's it's like just ideal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would think it would be the best. Yeah, I mean, and also like a lot of guys on the road. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out my situation. Whatever, don't worry. We can, we can. So, um, a lot of guys on the road, they like, uh, you know, they like the road for that reason too. But for us, it's different. Yeah, we're just sort of like rocking in a low grade depression in a hotel room, but. Yeah. 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 It's like, it's just vaguely dangerous, but not, you know, it doesn't have the perks of the road that <laughs> yeah, yeah, no yeah. comics have. But yeah. Of course. I can't remember what I was about to say there. Um, anyway. <laughs> and, oh, there was a question. Let me get this question because you know what it is? I always I do these questions for the Patreon. Sup- support the Patreon, folks. It's only a That's dollar. Right. Support, I always do these questions and then I forget at the end of the episode and then it kind of defeats the whole purpose of them. Subscribe. Do you edit the episode? I don't like edit shit out. If you mm-hmm. want stuff out, you can ask me, but I just let yeah. it fly. No, I don't. I don't have any. We go just old. Not like I'm one you of just the. Just go rogue. We just go. You know what? I tried having really high productive production value stuff, <laughs> and then people like kind of cared less. It's like nowadays, I just want to do stick. I do, think yeah, they do just, it on your phone in the car. No one gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. I agree. No one gives a fuck. It's and that's good. not really your vibe. Like you, yeah, you say whatever. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, yeah, I'm a real edge lord. That's right. I'm about to say some shit about the Palestinians today. We come from the bad boys. We're about of, to talk shit about the the fucking <laughs> Palestinians today. But uh, don't. I would jump ship immediately if you weren't Jewish. <laughs> um, <Nobody. laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say about Palestine? Why would I be like anti-Palestinian? No, right, I'll just you, let you. I just pick my teams depending on whatever you are. Sure, sure, you know? sure. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. So if if, if yeah, if you are a Muslim, <laughs> I'd be talking shit about the the, the, the Jews. Right the now. Jewish problem in this country. Yeah. Um, I did lose this question, but it was a good one. That's stupid. Some of those questions are kind of fucking crazy. Oh, here we go. You can ask me all of them. I don't care. No, this is a good one. Um, what high profile job do you think? Remember, call them for all uh, for everything and the Patreon. What high profile job do you think you could successfully fake your way through the longest? Can't be anything in entertainment. Thank you, Jeff Hess, <laughs> for that question. Good question, Jeff Hess. What high profile job? Well, some people get all the way. It's like it's happened all over the world. You know the fake. Um, you've seen the fake. Uh, 
translators who don't do Oh, that. those are so funny to me. They're There's delightful. been multiple yeah. cases of these guys go, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, that does seem, that is always funny. Yeah. Some very basic things always make me laugh like that. Like I, I could watch those videos again and again. Yeah, and then the guy's just like, like and he had Obama. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't there one where he had Obama? Some guy in Africa where he had Obama and he was just was John. He just got just any say- red guy. <laughs> oh, it's so racist. Just any black guy on the street. And they're like, oh, you play basketball? Go <laughs> translate for Obama. Um, yeah, I mean, it was ridiculous, but it's so funny to me. It always makes me laugh. Yeah. But, yeah. But you can go. So you what, what keep- high profile job would you have if you didn't do this? What well, high profile job do I think I could lie my way through? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. I think. What could I, it can't be an entertainment. Yeah. What is that even a high profile job? You know, like something like a general or yeah. something like in the army. Yeah. I think I like, I don't know. I think you could probably, once you get to a certain point, I think you're like the CEO. You're just kind of telling people what to do. I think I could be a CEO of like a fortune 500 company. Yeah. What would you do as a CEO? I, I would just say things like fucking, uh, you know, it's a, it's a bull market. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, well, you know, acquisitions <laughs> and really fucking, bullish. yeah, Markets yeah. Markets looking bullish, Kathy, huh? I go, what's the bottom? Let's get some fucking coffee. What's the bottom right. line? Yeah, Smooth exactly. Smooth skirts. Exactly. Yeah. Go in there, go, guys, today's the hustle. Let's do it. Let's get yeah. going. You know, your jobs, you know, if you're asking me what you need to do, you shouldn't monetize, be in Monetize, monetize. Get the fuck out of my office and go monetize. Yes. All right? Yes. You bitches. Or would you, yeah, you'd probably have your feet up on your desk and you would just abuse people. Yeah, you would just go find me the smartest person in the room, in the, mm-hmm. send them up and go, listen to me, you get this fucking company working good or you're out. <laughs> and I think that's all CEOs kind of do, right? Or at least that's <laughs> what the board of directors do for a CEO, right? Yeah, you would just, I feel like at, at that at that level, you could also just ask a lot of questions and then like peer back. Like you could make them do all the talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You could I'm, call people in the office and be like, you know, let me know your ideas. And then you find out what your company does. And then you just let them talk and then get angry or kind of like, you know, get dark and emotionally unavailable for a minute. And then they would talk more and faster and try harder. And yeah. Yeah. You yeah, have to do I'm shit. Thinking, t- catch me if you can. You yeah. Know, you can just have a lot of snacks do you concur? and stuff. Yeah. You saw Catch Me If You Can, right? Remember, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio where you that was a the- That's a fascinating... Um, all those movies where people just pretend to be somebody else. Also, I, be, I think because I know so much that I could not pull that off at all. Like, because I'm so like messy and I'm just mangled with ADD. So like, I would just leave things everywhere. Like I could never have a clean murder. I'd leave like <laughs> blood and a debit card there. Yeah, I'm a pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They'd be like, is there an eyelash? Her eyelash was on the pillow. Yeah. There was like a debit card. <laughs> yeah, no, I would be, they would be like, is this, whose muffin is this? No, I, yeah. would, I would never I'd be like, be I would murder to. too, for sure. To be like a toenail somewhere, you know, yeah, something. I'd, I would leave some kind of foul <laughs> debris. You'd be like, whose USB cord is uh, this? Lo- yeah, I'd log, in, log into my YouTube channel real quick. <laughs> you put on a playlist how to mur- how to get away with murder there was a guy in up in canada i think or close to that region and uh, he murdered his wife mm-hmm. and then they read out his google search so he what he did is he searched on murdering your wife yeah he ser- and, and it's literally a video and it goes on for three minutes of them just every google fucking search it's one of the funniest things of all time because he's just sitting there and they're reading out the google search because he he took his kid's ipad and because he somehow he thought that wouldn't get back to him oh and they my searched God, the kid's that's ipad so dumb that's yeah. just so d- that but makes me feel as, smart just yeah not as dumb as the fucking just going on your phone he was like, I'll use the kid's iPad. That won't yeah. connect. And it's literally like how to get rid of a dead body. How to Amazing. sneak this out. And then it's like how to dissolve this. How to re- <laughs> remove DNA. And then at one point it's like how to claim uh, life insurance. <laughs> the state back in. And he just has to sit there. And it's, it goes on forever. Was there at least like a few specific porn hub searches in between? Oh, yeah. I wish there was. give himself just, many breaks? That would be a perfect cocktail of just yeah. like porn hub and... Yeah, yeah a, like an episode of uh, Entourage or something. Yes, and how, just like how to get rid of like <laughs> d- <laughs> of blood DNA or like blood spatter evidence and just Pornhub would be perfect cocktail for that guy. But the yeah. ball, the ball, like, there must be someone getting away with murdering their wife, right? There's got to be. They just, I'm just sure it so, happens all the time. Just, yeah, just, just so white nanny. van. They, they always used to just say like there was like a gaggle of homeless looking people in their neighborhood in a white van. That probably worked just, all the time before. So they used to say just in a kidnapper? 80s, yeah. Just a kidnapper, yeah. Yeah, and then, and then the guy would wear his pin, like a pin of his wife for a few months and, and act like he was looking for her. Yeah. Know? There's, it's, it's always like the <laughs> darkest thing when you kind of know the guy murdered and they're like zeroing 
Dana and he's just like impressed just with her. Yeah. You, know, you can just tell he's just still a little angry at her, but he has to wear a yeah. face on his vest. It's crazy. <laughs> there was a guy in Ireland killed his wife and he, uh, he went on like the talk show. It's a very yeah. serious talk show. It's not like the Tonight Show over here where just everyone's dancing and shit. Like they, <laughs> they interview like real people. And this guy was like talking about his wife. He's like, if you're out there. And you, uh, and you have any information, please tell me. And he was fake trying to cry. <laughs> and everyone watched the show and he killed his wife. Everyone. And then they he had a record tell. amount of f- phone numbers. Everyone's like, you got it. And he got caught eventually. And so, they could just tell. Yeah. They, they, well, they knew and from they knew his... Him. They knew No, the people watching the show at home could tell from his body language and the way he was like crying that he was like, That's, he's not real. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, he, he pretended to go to work. He came home, beat his wife to death with a fucking dumbbell, mm-hmm. went back to work pretended to come home and find her there and said that someone broke in all because he was going to leave her with the kids for a side chick. Crazy I know, shit. they always do that instead of leave. It just like, seems like so much more of a hassle to murder the woman. Just, the the just red tape. Just leave her. Come on. <laughs> or disappear. You have to have like a long, an all night fight. Just disappear. Yeah. Just like leave and then like send her, yeah, send her a text later. Yeah. She can be furious, but you won't even have to be there. It just seems like I, such a I think they get caught up. They think do. this idea of like, this, she's yeah. going to keep the kids. I want the kids. She's on the money. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's like, but still, it just seems so But I could see that, unnecessary. <laughs> but let's say you kill your wife because she's mm-hmm. getting lippy. And it's accidentally, you sure. just, you smack her with a pan. It happens <laughs> to the best of us. But then you the go to. The details get more and more specific. <laughs> a, cast uh, <laughs> a cast iron skillet that's always there anyway. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you, you hide a body in another room so you can record a podcast real quick. Mm-hmm, you have sure, an alibi. Sure. I was recording podcasts <laughs> all day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like I don't think my husband would murder me, but I don't think he would look for me either. <laughs> what do you want? He wouldn't look that hard. You know, you know what? A good man is hard to find. Like, that's a good man. That's a, like, <laughs> He's not jealous. Yeah, like. Yeah, he's not going to look like, for you. I'd have to go missing for weeks before he would like lo- actually look. No, but he would. He, I, yeah, I don't think he would kill me, but he wouldn't look for me or he would empty the dishwasher before he started looking for me i feel like yeah. he's always emptying the dishwasher it feels like oh yeah. good he just he's very ocd his... yeah oh, so he's good. always like he can't he, he unpacks his suitcase like the moment he gets home you mm. know and he just is always angry at me interesting about, like, have something. you ever asked him have he ever, has he ever like thought about killing you if i asked him if he wants to kill me ever yeah he might just for a second that's it's a like good a little, question most men have like we should a call one, him and ask him most men if you want most men have yeah. like one percent or two percent in their brain they go oh this is how i would do it <laughs> they know how to murder you, but the getting away with the murder is the hard part. This will we will have to cut this out, but if it's it's one of those things that could like, be good. Yeah, he's probably just gonna be like, eh, nah. he might have thought about something. Yeah, he is. Like, you know, to dinner with my daughter right now, but she won't hear. Okay, like a dumbbell Let's to the here. head. Um, let me ask him. Yeah. Um, it's a good question. I think so. Have you yeah. Ever thought about so it? You, and how? Just ask how. What's this? Hey, if you were going to kill me, how would you kill me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Just let them know that in my fantasy, it's, it, with my girl, it's always a shovel to the back of the head. Do you think show you off the side of a cliff? <laughs> you, you off the side of a cliff? Nice. So That's a good one. That's solid. That's a good one. <laughs> and have you imagined doing that? Just hurling my dumb body off a cliff? Right off the side of the cliff. <laughs> How would you get me up there? I'm not much of a hiker. A stroll. I don't care for a hike. How would you lo- how would you lure me on the cliff? We would drive. Oh, oh, you would just you would drive and then you would just kind of manhandle me and like grab me out of the car and hurl me. And then just drive away. <laughs> <laughs> like when you're Anything getting rid else? of a dog. Eh? Anything else you want to add to that? Much how, how do you think you'd feel after? Would, it, would you have any like regret or would it feel like closure? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's definitely closure. Yeah, but free. Tunes, and then that's it, cruise. You'd play like System of a Down or something real dumb, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you'd play like Rage Against yeah, the Machine. Yeah, of course. All right, well, I'm glad we talked about this. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Um, yeah, nice, that's I a good that's one. It. Push that's off the, the cliff is a good one. Yeah, it hurt some, guy the cliff. Got, some guy got caught. Recently, thrown his girl off a cliff. He brought mm-hmm. her up on the hike, and then he was like, "Let me get a photo." No, get a set. And he put, got further, further, and then he went over to her and shoved her off. But he didn't realize there was someone else, like on a hike somewhere else, and saw the whole thing. <gasps> so then, yeah. 
Oh my God. I used to watch so much murder. I don't watch as much now. I don't know why. Like it starts to, it started to disturb me more, um, <laughs> <laughs> but it should have years ago. But yeah. like. But it must be, you're like, look, it must be like thrilling. <laughs> to <laughs> like, kill somebody? Or something. Like just the, the, do you ever like just drive down the road and you, and the cops are behind you and you're not even done that wrong and you're kind of like, oh, I'm going to get pulled over. But like imagine yeah. murdering someone and trying to clean up the evidence and yeah. get it. Like that's like, I don't think your heart rate would ever. No. It everything just else seemed, is boring yeah. after that. You get away with murder, everything else is unfulfilling. You're right. Absolutely. You're, the rest of your days would suck. Like, you yeah. Get, you show, like, what's yeah. going to happen today? doesn't matter. Yeah. Champagne on a yacht is boring compared right. to, to, uh, to scrubbing cleaning up, blood. cleaning up, to frantically yeah. cleaning up or murder. Chopping yeah. up a body with a sword. Chopping up a body. It all just seems <laughs> so annoying. Like, like I can't. It does exhaust me. I yeah, can't even yeah. like fix a basic thing. I would never be able to like deal with disposing of a body. And like, it just seems like a terrible, terrible hassle. I feel like you would hate the person more after you had freshly murdered them too, because then they're now they've left you with another mess. It's like the last yeah. fight you're having with them, you know? Yeah. But I don't think like I've never like I've never had um, the compulsion to murder. But <laughs> <laughs> should I give myself enough credit for? Okay. No, I do. I do watch those shows though, and sometimes think that I'm like I don't have the slightest desire to like kill a hooker. Like you ever compliment yourself mm. on things you don't want to yeah, do? Yeah. I'm like I don't. I don't wake up with like a pesky need to like go search for a co-ed to kill. You know, yeah, like course. I'm a good person. I'm terrific. Like, but they I don't get, they don't just start like that. What happens is no, you- No, it's you, the mom. It, yeah. It's does, the mom. There's a mom thing. There's a fucking, well, what about that guy, the the, the Long Island killer? You know him? The, Which the, one? The, the, Gil- Do you Gil- like this stuff? Do you like- Yeah, well, I watch, I watch the documentary, like the, mm-hmm. the Netflix stuff. I'll always watch them catch, catching the guys. But like, oh. so the, there was the-, the, the I, the Geico beach or so one of these beach up in Long, in Long Island uh-huh. murderer and he got caught. So he, but this is recently enough. He, they only arrested him like a year ago. Remember? Really? Yeah. But he only got caught because this was crazy. There was a guy having a party in Long Island and they got a prostitute over him and the boys were like, mm-hmm. well, the wiser away, we got a prostitute over or something like that. When mm-hmm. she came over, she smoked some weed or something, started freaking out, thought that you're going to kill her. She ran out of the house and ran to like, a, and this is like a real uh, like expensive private estate place. Mm-hmm. Place She ran off to one of the neighbors banging on the door. They rang the cops. She ran away and she ran into one of these fields at the beaches mm-hmm. and they never found her body. And while they were looking for her body, looking for her, they found six dead prostitutes. And that's when they realized that this guy, there was a serial killer killing people and burying them in that field. But had that prostitute not... The prostitute was never found. By the way, she was never murdered or anything. No one really knows what the fuck happened to her. But, well, how do you know she wasn't murdered then? Well, there's just like, it doesn't make sense. It's, right, it, right. Because it's like, odds? who was going to be out there at that night killing her? She was just never seen again. They just think that her, her, it's such a sort of abandoned mm-hmm. area. Yeah. That, so, I heard she became a scientist. Maybe. She just, <laughs> yeah, she changed her <laughs> yeah, She, she hitchhiked her way to a better she life. she went to Cornell. Could be. Yeah. But also, poor, imagine being the guys who bring over a prostitute and then you, the one that freaks out and then it results in the serial killer being found and then all the boys are like, ah. And then they're all caught. Just so they're caught. They're all caught. They're all they fucking all got caught. caught. And all, for what? For all, what? That is a sad story. All they wanted was a blowjob of a prostitute while their wife was, was out of town. a lively blowjob when their wife way yeah oh uh, these princes i'm starting to have some real can we play some soft <laughs> piano music when we edit this yeah. i did this sketch for my show and uh or pilot okay some pilot that never got picked up where um i played like uh it was a hidden camera it wasn't a sketch but i w- basically um pretended i was a stripper and then i would bring guys back for this like lap dance and and then i would start like the pre lap dance chatter. And then I would just start like weeping about like things I'd been through. And then I started playing different tapes, but I play like the wrong tape, (laughs) but I play like the wrong track. And it would be like, you've made the decision to terminate a pregnancy. It's a careful (laughs) and deliberate decision. You need to own and value that. And they'd be like, the guys just kept getting more and more restless. And I'm like, just a second, sorry. Uh, And then we kept just making it get worse and worse. And they were getting so angry by the end of it. They're like, all right, one guy was like hitting his legs, you know? Yeah. And I was like, sorry, I'm like, it's just a sorry, it's such a hassle. Like, and I kept playing the wrong thing that I played just like the most heinous, jarring music, like a Hava Nagila, you know, and I was just doing sort of like a broad yeah. stroke Charleston. These guys were basically <laughs> puking at this point. Then Dan Soder came in and played my husband and he like just pretended that suddenly he had to drop my kid off. And it was what was amazing to me was just how completely worthless 
these like some of these guys were. A lot of them were willing to stay with the kid in the room. So Dan comes in, he's like, babe, I gotta go to work. Dan was so great at it. And I was like, what do you mean? I'm like trying to do like a sexy dance. Come on, man, I'm with clientele, please. Yeah. You know, I'm like, I'm with high-end clientele. You can be here. You know? And then he's like, look, I just gotta drop him off. It's just a few hours. I'm like, does he have his EpiPen? Like we were having all this like parent conversation and these deep pigs I just, were just sitting there, you know, like, like a few left. <laughs> A few fucking <laughs> Nobel Prize winners left. <laughs> the good but, guys. Like, but them. plenty of them stayed. And I was like, don't worry. The baby will be over here. He'll do like, he's like having a cat in the room. It's not even focused. It's like an eight-year-old child, wow. like actor. You know, yeah. so we put the kid in the corner and just gave them, I was like, here he has some crayons. It's draws pictures. It's no problem. And then I'd start again. Like I, they just had to keep waiting. And, and then so the kid comes running towards me. And we just drew all these like fake pictures. I did not know why I'm describing this right now but no, it's just great. making me think about the worthlessness of um guys of in general yeah, yeah. and uh they shout just kept coming fellas. back <laughs> shout out to the fellas <laughs> hey dad um but yeah they just kept running the kid just kept running back with like different pictures of me with like needles in my arm and just kind of bleeding or wrapped around a pole with sort of a fatigued <laughs> sort of downsy expression and they're like mommy do you like that i'm like oh it's beautiful Go, gorgeous <laughs> picture Go. <laughs> but yeah most of the guys waited until they eventually just, yeah this, yeah yeah, like um, it, did, it took a, it took a, like the kid, some of them after the second or third interruption for the child showing me pictures. <laughs> they're like, I'm not gonna talk to they're like, uh, but we had, and by the way, this we was had, not a real strip club, was it? No, we, it was like a, we, we had a house rented out mm. and um, like a Airbnb. Yeah. And the guys said that they were, it was an apartment actually. And the guys said that um, one of their friend got a promotion. He knew somebody in the production or something. And so, um, the guy said, we're going to throw like a party because you got a promotion. He was moving to like Austin or something. So then we got a stripper in the main room just so the guys wouldn't be that backed up that they would like yeah. try to like attack me. <laughs> so, so we had a stripper like in the main area. So yeah. also that just shows what deep pigs men are. They already had a stripper. They okay. just wanted like a second thing to look at. More, you know what more, I mean? Yeah, yeah, we love, more. yeah, we love women. Yeah. <laughs> so like, so they had a stripper they were going back to. Yeah. yeah. But they were so like, come on, let's get over with. <laughs> they hated me by the end. Wow. And what I've had, all that footage will never see the light of day, no? No, most certainly won't. Fuck. Maybe I'll put it up on, uh, I mean, none of the guys would sign the release was the problem. So if I do put it up, I have none, to oh, show that. The, yeah. I have to show that, uh, like. Yeah, black thing over their thing. eyes or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I actually yeah. just had somebody do that. Well, you can like, probably oh, deep fake faces on now or something weird. Oh, really? There's probably some way of just going, make this a fake face. That's such a good idea. You know, nowadays we have deep I didn't fake. even think about that. Yeah, so maybe I could show it. Because, yeah, they didn't, none of them would sign it. But it was so, yeah. it makes me so sad because Dan was so funny as my husband. Sure. He was hilarious. And it was just, <laughs> like, the kid was an amazing actor, too. It's almost like eerie when kids are really good actors. Yeah. Like, like, so the kid was, like, giving weirdos. me tips. He's like, let's use the space a little better. And I'm like, you're unwell. <laughs> like, you're going to, yeah. Yeah, you're going to be on opiates very soon. Like, the kid oh, was yeah. like, and when I come up at first he's like it might be better if it like at first you kind of seem annoyed instead of just proud mm, of the picture right away just because so that's funny. what a mom might be if she was trying to work you know especially a stripper it's like, I think it's yeah. like, he's having yeah. a cigarette going on <laughs> I can't he? it's on his agent no he really like worked the room and nice. the cast yeah. Good kid. it was so disturbing never heard of again there's never, nothing you, grosser you never than like a kid him? schmoozing at an audition you know yeah. like just somebody being like yeah, so you get a lot of these, you know, yeah. it just it's, just it's especially disgusting just that yeah. fakeness from a child from an eight year old yeah, I can't, I can't imagine if I had a kid that even if that was like, all I want to do is be in movies, I'd just like, no, you don't. That'd be like very, no, nah, I'm not bringing into auditions. You can, it can't be good. Are your parents supportive of your like, they're, they like they're, that you they're, they're so very supportive in a way that they just don't get in my way about anything. They just let me do whatever I want. Do they watch stuff you do? No, sometimes. I think they might have watched my special maybe. My dad scaffolded come once or twice to some shows over is the years. He defi- is he, um, is your dad, are your parents together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're together, yeah. So but what like, went wrong? Th- what happened? Yeah. <laughs> what? What? That you needed to do stand-up stuff. There was something. something I don't know. I don't know. I've always, like, I, oh, I, we did come to some, uh, maybe, there's an idea that I'm the youngest, right? And then when I was a kid, apparently, my older siblings would be talking over me, and then I couldn't get, like, attention for stuff. Like, let's say I wanted, like, water or whatever. So then I would, like, have a tantrum. Mm-hmm. So then my, my mother would, like, oh, re- she'd re- react to me with a tantrum. And then everyone's like, oh, you can't do that. You got to uh, ignore them. Uh-huh. So then if I needed something and I couldn't get attention, I'd have a tantrum and then my mother would ignore me. 
So then they think that's probably created some deep When you say we, you and your therapist, you mean? Uh, just from people talking, just not my therapist. Just people you're talking. Just people. general people Friends. with no information. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Like my I family. I think that's like a second story, but... Maybe, was, I don't know. I just like, yeah. I've always liked just, I've always just liked watching comedy. So I just started doing it. And then yeah. that was it. That was like, I've never had some defined thing. Mm. Besides being molested? Not molested, unfortunately. <laughs> no great but, origin story. You? <laughs> no. Um, but no, I mean, I, I feel like that was so innocent. Like that, what you just said, like it was so like not a thing. I don't know. I don't know. It could make, it could have. I didn't have you, a thing either though. But if you ignore kids when they're screaming for something. So she would really fully ignore you? I get, if I was, so they, so they tell me. I don't remember this. They just tell me this. So that you would scream and they would just not pay attention to you. And why? Mm. Because you were like the last kid. I was the youngest kid. So it was like hard for me to get my mother's attention mm -hmm. for like whatever. And then I became like a tantrum kid and she would give me a tantrum attention mm -hmm. and then apparently she had to break that so she they ignored me who do you think is your favorite was the favorite in your house favorite kid yeah oh uh you weren't the favorite or you were no i don't think so i'd say, I'd say if my, you had to guess if my brother is the favorite i is think he first son he he's the first son is yeah. is the favorite yeah yeah, and which then, is also totally my style of like yeah let him go let him like yeah go, is your can, mom he, intense is she like uh, um, very like loving, or she give you her space. No, she's really loving. She, like, yeah, yeah, she's yeah, kind. yeah, yeah. She gives me a yeah. lot of space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she had to like. I, I'm like just broke that into them. Yeah, you always wanted to be off on your own. I'm just gone. Everything. Always been. But my brother lives in Australia now too. Mm -hmm. So both her boys got up oh, and left her. It's gotta be yeah. so hard. Yeah, but that's good though. It's that's the Irish thing. It, there's an Irish yeah. thing of getting the fuck out of there. Yeah, and Irish yeah. people kind of have pride in their kids getting up and leaving they think it's oh, good really? they think it's good because it means you've created someone who's like strong who's and independent something in the world yeah, yeah 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 that type of shit now my sister's here she's there she's back she has yeah. the kids and she's like so she's before she has to look after them and how many do you have four uh, how many one, no, there, an older brother older sister there's, yeah okay, there's three of you right you said that yeah yeah, I uh, I asked my mom I was like you know Justin's your favorite and then Aaron and then me and she was like yeah like yeah, she couldn't. I'm like, that's not even like a <laughs> sentence. Yeah, yeah. She's like, ah. well, they say they don't have their favorite, but that doesn't necessarily. And I don't think it's an insult to be like you have your favorite. Yeah, they do. They, I mean, like, yeah, of course. you know, a good parent's not going to say it. Well, but there's the like one that was do. getting arrested, and there's the one that got all yeah. A's, and there's one that they have fun together, and there's one that fucking ruins all of the parties. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but, I was the problem. I think for I mean, sure. Yeah. Do you just one kid. Yeah, we just have one. Yeah. Just the one. Okay, yeah, that's so what at I was least... like, oh, you left the country. That's what made me think of. Yeah. I know, I know. Because you have a kid and you're like, somebody said that, Some somebody made some mention of like when she goes away. And I'm like, what do you mean when she goes? Like, I know. Like, my, I don't like to think about that. Like, I can't. My girl's that. like that because she's like, when we have kids, um, you know, assuming we have kids, uh, she's like, they'll never leave. She's like, I'm never letting them leave. Yeah. And I'm like, I'll be in there other go, <laughs> get as far as you can. Run, don't turn back. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that even that idea is like ludicrous to me. I'm like, what do you mean you're gonna leave? Like, who's gonna? Yeah, no, that's that's impossible. Like, but you guys, but you, would you talk a lot to your mother? Like, that's a, more of a Jewish thing. I don't think the I well, don't think so. But she wasn't like I a Jewish typical Jewish mom because she converted, so she was like, you know, so she's like a yeah, okay, 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 um, okay. not as like that stereotype or whatever. But she like. Um, no, my mom is m much more worried about the like outside world than us. Like she's worried about just, you know, she's like COVID. aggressively liberal. <laughs> yeah, she's worried about like COVID-19 <laughs> and just like, you know, anyone that's like beige or darker more yeah, than her own yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah I moved enough. to New York when I was like 17 and she was just like outside and like a dashiki, like <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, yeah, no, she's not, definitely does not like, she's not tracking me at all. No, yeah. yeah. But I think, but if she was, she converted into... The, Jew, the other Jewish stereotypes that they're very fucking protective and clingy, right? They're always talking to their kids and stuff. Yes, Is that right? yes, smothering. Mothering, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, same yeah, stereotypes yeah. as Italians. Yeah, yeah just Italians. like smothering and calling all the time. And yeah, a lot of talk about like sickness and like ailments and yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm like hypochondriacs. I'm not a hypochondriac at all. Like I'll, no. I don't like worry about germs. I'll like let anybody sip off me. I, <laughs> I worry more if like people are dying than, I mean, if people... Sorry, I worry more about if people are mad at me than like disease or death or anything. Oh yeah, you yeah. you sort of go. Oh, I'm, I think this doesn't like me. I, I'm yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. How about yeah, you? Do yeah. you worry about like a lot of comics are hypochondriacs? Are you a hypochondriac? Not like, when it comes to health or anything. Yeah, I don't think shit. about that no. stuff too much. Yeah, like like disease or germs or. And then also, yeah, and then also the what people think about me only gets me if I'm like high. Usually I'm like too much like fuck them, you know. I can't. Yeah, like, that's I've, good. I have a real like, like go fuck them. Like that's I don't good. give a fuck. I wish, thing. I but then be... as soon as I'm high, but that's not right. That's more like just like I've 
but then as soon as I'm high, I'm just like, everyone hates me. <laughs> That's <laughs> not necessarily I'd... wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't get high either for that reason. Like I, yeah. I, I drink, but I can't smoke because it accentuates like every quality I've been trying to erase. <laughs> like I want to be able to smoke, but I'm like, how do people do that? No, I'm just like rocking in a corner. I think everybody's mad at me or like, yeah. Yeah, it's not good. It, that's exactly what happens to me when I'm high, but also when I'm not high, it just makes it worse. Yeah, yeah I always for think sure. people are mad at me or like, yeah, I'm always like sending like that unnecessary extra text, like, sorry about this when this happened. Oh, the person's yeah, like, what yeah, do you yeah, the extra- know you're referring to? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, I'm always like sending some long, unnecessary, weird, like, there's always a lot of like extra disclaimers before, you know, before or after yeah, that's I so do funny. anything. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I do worry about like, you know, what other comedians think about me. Then at the same time, I'm always just like, there's a natural meeting to fuck them, you know? <laughs> and they're just not also. They're yeah, about they, no yeah, one thinks about you that much. Yeah, no yeah. one thinks about you that much. Especially comics. They, they, they don't take that long talking about other comics. Yeah, they're usually back to themselves. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Although I have had a couple of situations where I'm like so oblivious where like people talk to me and it's like, we need to talk about like, the fight we had. And I was like, oh, we've been fighting? I didn't even know. Like, you know. Really? Like, like yeah. what kind of situation like that? I don't, like, I had a friend of mine. I, I, I don't know. Apparently, I, t- I threw a chicken wing at him one time at a comedy club. I didn't even. I, <laughs> I love I it. I literally didn't even know. I don't even remember doing it. Was it because you were wasted. Probably wasted. I threw I like a chicken that wing that at him. You were just like, oh, we've had some confusing. Uh... <laughs> yeah, but then, and then, and then like. I went, That's because that... you were hammered. I know, but then he got. <laughs> it's like, there has been a situation or two where I w- <laughs> after I talk to somebody later on, they have a different interpretation of our conversation where I'm like, no, it's because you were, yeah, you're a throbbing alcoholic. I love that. I'm, I, well, look, I, I do remember throwing the chicken wing, but I thought it was more of a playfully. No, I you're threw not. I just wing. wanted to say throbbing I have, alcoholic. I have, a, I have no evidence. I've never even seen you drunk, but I do think that's hilarious. Oh, really? Hilarious. That's surprising. Yeah. I'm off But you do get, you you get nice and lit. I get wasted all the time. And you, and you, and you throw chicken wings. Yeah, I threw a chicken wing out, friend. And then, but Why? I, I, it was funny to throw some food at them. I don't know. And then, but I wouldn't even mind Then we were like hanging out after that. And then we didn't talk for weeks, but I never really just an, an, a new. Mm-hmm. And then, and then he moved into a new apartment or something. And I came over to the new apartment and gave him like a gift or some shit. And he's like, I'm glad we could do that to like end the, I'm glad we ended the beef. I was like, what? squash the beef. I got, and you're I like, what beef? And he's like, bitch, you threw a chicken wing at me. This goes, is all amazing. I know. And then he goes, what, what comic I, is this? Yeah, you don't know him. You wouldn't know him. And then he goes, uh, why do you think we haven't been talking for the last few weeks? And I go, I didn't even know we weren't talking. But now you, you have to say it. No, you don't want to. <laughs> no, no, you obviously don't know. You wouldn't know. Yeah, but your fans might. They're going to be excited. No, about they're not going to know him. They're called Torelliites. No. <laughs> the Torelliites. <laughs> No, we need a name. We do call them the Columbines sometimes. Really? Sometimes. They're mm, never stuck. That's fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then the local 1008, that's the Patreon because it's only 1008 for the year. $10.08 for the year. Oh, yeah. So we turned it into like a union thing, local 1008. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's, is it? <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was until you said it like that. Now I'm like, yeah, it sucks. It's gay. That was terrible. <laughs> no, I think it's a good enough idea. Why All not? I need is someone go, yeah, that's cool. I'm like, fuck. It sucks. <laughs> You're right. Everything that stinks. <laughs> no, that was like a positive thing I just said. <laughs> so did you have, when you grew up, were you like, uh, like raising hell then too, like in high school and stuff? Were you doing bad things? I guess I was a mischievous kid, but never, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Like, I don't think so. Anyway, never really too in tr- trouble with a lot. Like everyone in Ireland's like that, just drinking underage, failing right. their exams. Like, that's like Fist calm. fights and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and in Ireland, like my parents, my, my dad, ooh, my dad didn't go to school, like high school or he dropped out of high school young. Like, so no, they don't have any like education aspirations. As long as you weren't failing and getting kicked out, that was it. So did like, they, did they like, would they hit you when you were bad or did they like yell A little at you? bit, but not like nothing. Just no. normal, just normal. I think so. It was like, you know, like more like. They would hit you yeah, with a spoon my parents or did a too. They yeah, they yeah. Us, they spanked us. My my father would a bit of spanking, to, yeah, but never never. But nothing like too never brutal. Black no eye electrical or cords. Lip. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> there wasn't any like prolonged torture. My dad would more like threaten humiliations. Like he would be like, he would always tell my brother that he was oh, going like to drive that. him to the local park. He'd be like, "How would you like it if I spanked you in front of all your friends?" <laughs> And he would tell him the park too. He'd be like a Maplewood Park where they're playing soccer, you know. Like so, it was always oh. like the added, not just getting spanked, but that you'd be having to get spanked in front of your friends yeah. playing soccer. And he would drive like kind of slow past Maplewood. At the if my specific brother, spot. Yeah. That's nice. I like that because I do feel yeah. like a lot of kids talk. They're not. I don't think talking is the right thing because a lot of kids are shitty. You talk to them, you're like, why do we not want you to do the yeah. thing? And they're shitty. So, but you don't want to hit them, but you can threaten them. Threaten. Yes. Threaten them. With some sort of a public humiliation. I think that's not bad. Yeah. I think there's a balance there, right? (laughs) 
I mean, I might not do, I might not do that, but it's definitely what? not as bad as like an act of spanking. I mean, I think like, um, yeah, my dad, I mean, yeah, he doesn't, he had no, he just didn't know what he was supposed to do, but I wasn't like traumatized by it. My brother was probably. My mom would just, when my younger brother was, speaking of being ignored, my bro- younger brother was loud. I do remember my mom would just put him in the backyard and I know now, like, people think so much about, like, how to deal with tantrums. And yeah, like, yeah, You have yeah. to sit with your child and, you like, honor the emotions the as they're feeling that my, my brother was just in the backyard. And then the back, the neighbor behind us used to come up and bang on the door. And he'd be like, Karen, come on. You got to keep it. Like, he's getting too loud. What was He's, he, like, he's like, playing right, with the gross. lawnmower and shit? Yeah, what yeah. was he doing? <laughs> I guess he was just annoyed <laughs> that he was screaming out there. He's like, come on, Karen. You got to be. He's like, oh, damn it, Bruce. All right. I know. Yeah. I- it, look, he, he was just out there, red faced, shrieking, and she was like in yeah. the backyard. Then she would just like lock the door. <laughs> Speaking of trauma, yeah, I liked, uh, yeah, but I, th- I feel like Something we used to be between, all like that. Maybe, yeah, we used to get walked home from school by like the older kid, like the like until one of the kids on the street was like six. Then none of the parents, he would just yeah. guide all the kids to school and back, and everything was sort of sort of fine. Now they all get you got to get a ride with your parents. It was kind of. I think feel like we all just raised ourselves. Anyway, in Ireland in the nineties, we were all just running around the park like. That's wild how it horse. was when I was a kid too. Yeah, my mom was um, always working, and then we had. She actually put our address on our keys. She put so, her home address on our keys in case <laughs> they were lost. And I still cannot believe that she did well, this. Like that's I, the crazy. I can't believe she did. We that. used to have she that did. type of sh- shit too. But then they would. Yeah. Then they started. I think they started stealing your cars and shit because if they found your. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, it's like more deeply moronic. <laughs> I still cannot believe she did that. <laughs> And she definitely did. Yeah. But we were more just like, yeah, we we were on our own. Definitely. For sure. A lot. Yeah. And we would be in the backyard. Um, and my brother was always, I was just always like in a half Nelson or like some wrestling move. And then he would like make me, he would always just like be flipping my body around doing like some wrestling thing. And then he would make me give him a certain amount of like cereal. And then he would always hold a sock on my face and do, and he called it Chinese sock torture, even though there's nothing like Chinese about it. <laughs> He would just like, make like strange, like non-Chinese sounds like, yeah. um, and he would just hold, and then, yeah, he would hold a sock on my face and he'd be like, Chinese sock torch or something and just make yeah. some sort of like, uh, like Kung Fu noise. Yeah. And then when we were at the pool, he would call it Chinese water torture also and just hold me under the water. And for, nice. Yeah. And That's that was good. like a very lovely kind of like nebbishy adult. You would never know that he like... Yeah, Chinese yeah, sock Yeah, but it's all natural. Torture. You go through that. Sure, your yeah. Beats and none you of up. it was too much. Yeah, it was just pretty... I always thought he was kind of a little bit much. I'm like, he was always just bright red and like coming at me with some violent, yeah. necessary horseshit. But it was never like, it didn't leave any scars or anything. Yeah. Interesting. Do, have you never noticed any other um, female comedians have older brothers like that? Hmm. That's a good question. I wonder because I feel like you're just so used to getting shit on and stuff that's just something about comedy that kind of I do feel like you're onto something with as much as I gave you shit that there was some other real more real story behind that story of like <laughs> I guess it was because I had to speak up sometimes since I was the youngest child now like, my tantrums are ignored it sounds like what my husband would say but I'll be like what happened to you and he's like one time I dropped a pizza that's his only story from his childhood I'm like no you were molested probably yeah it's I don't never like, just a pizza I'm not saying it's a molesting, but it's not just a pizza. Like his story is just like, he'd be like, yeah, there was this one coach and he always made me sit in the sidelines like a little too long. Like that's not, no, there's gotta be more than that. You know, there's other stories that he dropped a pizza, like a large pie and like a girl saw him drop it. I'm like, that's not even a good tail. Come on. Traumatizing. It's not enough. There's something else. He looked like a fool. Dropping a pizza. Yeah, but just come on. One, I drop a a pizza. Like that's like any day for me also. I just do dumb Things like that. But that's not enough to, no, there's something else. There's a better story. But I think some pe- guys don't even know what's ha- happened to them. They've just like repressed it. I'm not saying it's a molesting, but it, you know, it could be a, a plethora of fun loving, tra- dramatic things. You guys should cut me off at any point right now. I have no information. But. I don't know. Well, if I've buried any molestation in there, so it can stay in there. Leave yeah, it, yeah. You know? Let it lie. Yeah. And, you know. Sometimes I'm, I'll go to yoga and they're like, yo, stretch your hips, bring out all your trauma. And I'm like, no. I, <laughs> but I don't, I don't want to do that. Bring out my trauma for my hips. Yeah, you no, ever heard them talk like that? I've never heard that. That's amazing. They, I, they have all that now. <laughs> each, each part of your muscles represents some bullshit and you stretch it. Do you but go there is to actually, yoga classes? I can't. I've tried you to go yoga. to yeah a few times, but then they changed it. I go on Wednesday mornings. They changed the locks. What was no, the they changed the, they changed the instructor, and and the other one was good because she'd let me sort of just like float through the class. This one like 
She wants you to do the actual moves. I know, but I don't know them. What a twat. What were you doing with the other one? Just like drinking tall Well, boys I was just or... doing my best and I kind of copy you people. Know, you swear, or whatever. Are you doing like strokes? I, but then, yeah, that's kind of what it is. It's all a lot of this. You're just following that person. You're stretching out. I've got bad hips. Were you ever drunk at yoga? <laughs> Sorry? Were you ever drunk at yoga? No, never, no. How no, about day no. drunk? No? Is it only by night? I love day you... drinking. It's like my favorite thing. And what's the difference between you like now and when you're... Like, what, how are you different when you're drunk? How do people say you're different? I don't know. I, I guess it depends on, you know, be more of like a life of the party type of guy. But then I, I can also get really drunk and it's bad with comedy too. And because, then it turns? Well, it's, I always think I'm fun. <laughs> and then, I, but it's not. <laughs> Yeah. I think I'm having fun. I think, you know, you turn into fucking Patrice and you walk up to someone and go, you're an ugly cunt. And they're <laughs> sure. like, Jesus Right? <laughs> There's like no funniness. What was one of the worst things you did? Uh, uh, I don't know. I think I've just been obnoxious and loud and stuff like that. And also, I black out a lot, so I never actually remember, which is like mm. kind of a nice little, mm-hmm. little, little thing my body says. It is. It's and a lovely You don't idea. need to remember what you said to this person, this high profile idiot. No, I had an ex-boyfriend that would get... I mean, he was like an emergency alcoholic, but he would always, he would get really wasted and he would just like glare at people unnecessarily. And sometimes it'd be like my brother or something like, you know, it would just be like the most, somebody that had no beef with yeah, him. He was always yeah, just like looking yeah. at him like, huh? huh? Like yeah. that look, you know? And I'm like, Chris, what? And then sometimes he would like leave and walk around the bar and then just kind of glare at me through the glass. That's what he was like real lit. I'm like, oh God. And I would just be, I would so much just like, I'm such a classic like enabler, like taking his drinks and trying to like sip from them, you know, like just trying to yeah, slow it control down. all of it. And then like my friends would be like, yeah, I think Chris is outside glaring again. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> like, and I remember introducing him to some friends of mine and I was just so excited. I was like, I have a boyfriend and he's a carpenter. Like I was so proud of him. And I was just like, he's a man's man. And they're like, well, it looks like he's outside um, and he's banging he, on the glass. He's he would just like, be outside like that with just some... <laughs> I mean, it was real dark. Or sometimes he would get up and just kind of walk away from the table, do some long distance glaring. And then he like sent oh. me and my friends a shot once, but he like wouldn't sit with us. They'd be oh, like, hey, wow. three redheaded sluts from that gentleman over there. I'm like, you mean my boyfriend? And he'd just be like, yeah, just kind of looking at me like, what the fuck? You know? And it was always when we left, the argument was always like, you didn't have my back with that at all? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it would be the dumbest shit in the world. Like these weird insecurities that didn't even make sense. Like, like he was part, um, French Canadian okay. and he thought which who cares like it's kind of mm-hmm. interesting cool whatever I, I have never heard of any stereotypes in particular he's always like you know I don't like when people know I'm part French Canadian because just because of all like the you know like the bigotry the, the I'm like I, I don't think it's like them? a high highly bigoted <laughs> population yeah and if I like let it slip that he was part French Canadian he's like you saw the way they looked at me I'm like this is the dumbest <laughs> sentence I've ever heard in my life there's no way that's great yeah, they were like giving you a side eye for being part French Canadian. It's just too dumb for words. Yeah. But I was the dumber one because I moved in with him after all this. Ah, yeah. Of course, you have he a good was, heart. Yeah, sure. Was, he always, he was the, way like, he lo- the way he looked at you. <laughs> yeah, he was always like, sc- the way he glared at me. He was always screaming outside my window, like Marlon Brando or something, like from Streetcar Named Desire. Like he was always like, like, like yelling at me to like forgive him for something. It was all like very exciting oh, at the time. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Just have some yeah, he'd drunk get drunk, you'd just, fight, he'd show yeah, up, he'd yeah. scream, he'd be outside, like, ah, just like man crying. <laughs> I thought it was pretty <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, he was such, it was, uh, I kept calling. I didn't know at that time that you can't like, you know, make somebody sober. Like I was mm. like, I would call like these hotlines and I'm like, yeah. So anyway, starting from where we left off, he's still drinking. <laughs> I do you know. And they were like, yeah, it's gotta be him that wants yeah, to. Yeah, no, like, you quit. can't. And I really didn't understand. I was like, this bitch isn't helping me. Like I need yeah. to clean him up. It didn't even occur to me yeah. that he would um, have to be the one to decide that he. Nice. And yeah. was he drinking all, was he drinking all the time every day he or was, was like it a, just when he drank, it was a problem? Cause there's, he there's, was, there's he two was, different It was types. when he drank, it was a problem and it wasn't every time he drank, but then there was enough times like there was a story that he could tell ah, himself. Say he sounds fine. If it's not every time and he's not drinking every day, he's not like a regular dude. What are we talking here? Two out of 10 times he caused a f- scene with the friends? Oh, many times. That's, no, no. Everybody came to know it well. If you knew him for any period of time, you knew that uh, it was a real problem. But how, was, yeah. So every fifth, every other time he drank, it was probably a problem, was it? Every couple times. I do remember every one couple. time it was like my birthday and I was just like, tonight, oh. please, please, please just don't drink. And I think I like <laughs> arranged that he went to like do. a diner or something just so that he wouldn't want to. And he had this one friend that he would 
always that he like met on a bus once, just like some drunken bus ride, just some drunken smear of a night. Yeah. He met this guy like and uh, and, and, and this guy was just like my nemesis. Of course, it was him that was the problem. But yeah, like he was always like, I don't know if Thorne comes by. Shit might be crazy. Like, just yeah. don't invite Thorne to my <laughs> diner <laughs> birthday. Please leave Thorne yes. the, from the bus. <laughs> so, so Thorne <laughs> comes by the diner, but he kind of does one of Chris's like drive bys, just kind of like gives him a heads up. And I'm like, did he just like wink at you outside the diner? You oh. know, like what the fuck? You know? Yeah. He's like, ah, look, he, he wanted to wish you happy birthday. He cares about you <laughs> or some shit. <laughs> of course, like just cut to an hour later. Like they were both doing shots, and I was just like pleading them to leave this bar. And they he was just drenched in Jaeger. And then he had like beef with some like elder woman named Virginia at like a Port Authority bar. I'm like, what has she ever done to you? She's like an old divorcee. He's like, nice. you didn't have my back. That was always the fight. Oh, like, you didn't have your back. You didn't have my back. You saw you saw the way she was staring at me. French Canadian. Fucked up. Yeah. He's been prosecuted his whole life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I think he was, um, he was, uh, I, we, we, there was all, a lot of times where I tried to bribe him. Like, I'll get, I'll give you, he played this game called Aces High. It was like one of those war games. And I was like, I'll give you new pedals for your war game if you stop drinking. Like, it was so sad. <laughs> And the then he would, he would, he would say if he just didn't drink whiskey, I know. he would hide the little airport bottles were always hidden all around. Oh, yeah. well that, that's, these are the steps. It's, you got to get rid of the liquor. Sure. I don't do IPAs as much anymore. I got mm. into that during COVID, all the craft <laughs> beer stuff. But then what happens is it's an expensive hobby. COVID we're drinking every night, but then you're getting wasted every night. Like. Like yeah. I black out, but not every time. But when I was drinking IPAs only, every morning I'd wake up going, how did I go to bed last night? Even if it was just hang, hanging out here. When you black out, like, are you nervous the next day about like... Not anymore, no. I used what to you be. did? It depends where I am. I remember I, I remember getting blackout drunk at Dan Soder's HBO uh, <laughs> after party at the cellar. And I'd what never, happened? I, I don't know. I just fucking passed. I just woke up. Did you hear any highlights? I talked to people and everyone said I kind of just like, you could, it just hit me and then I left, but it could have easily not have hit me and I left. I could have been there for two, two hours, but everyone said afterwards is like, no, I got out of there pretty fast. But and I don't. And if you stayed, what would you have done? Like, who if knows? Really I don't know. Again, probably thought it would have been cute going up to some fucking senior comic just being like you fucking suck. i think i love to call, like, i love stink. the idea of calling somebody like a disgusting <laughs> con being cute oh probably just would have been you ugly fuck hey you fat fuck <laughs> like that's what it is it's always you go up to someone ah you stink you're a hack you big nose fuck <laughs> right yes yeah, so and you then, think you're just like ah and then like but there's no charm in there and they're just like I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's when they don't know you. Because like uh, comics say a lot of like, or they're not close to you because comics have said all kinds of despicable things to me. And like half the time, I think it's hilarious. And I don't yeah, really yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. You know? But yeah, if they don't know me that well and they like start with that, I'm like, But now oh. I don't, I, I kind of care less as a, uh, also now I'm older. So I care less about <laughs> impressing older comedians. Because it's yeah. like, it's not like if. So is that the idea that like, if you give them some shit, like that maybe you'll be like. They might respect you more. No, I just like it. Like, that's kind of just how I am. They're usually just making fun of each other. But I think when I get drunk, it gets to a, a point little where crazy. it's... crazy? Yeah, I think What's so. What's the craziest know. thing you've ever done when you're wasted? Craziest? I don't know. I remember me and my friends stole a JCB, but the cops caught us pretty fast. What a is J that? JCB is like a digger, like a like a, 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 like a big digger <laughs> thing like from a construction site. <laughs> that doesn't seem like fun. Yeah. <laughs> Such a ridiculous thing to steal. Well, the problem, here's the truth, and this is the problem, and, and, and I, I'm still not sure if my dad believes me, but like previously, the week before, we were all hanging out in this big, huge alleyway, mm -hmm. like, a, like a country road alleyway, doesn't even make any sense, in, in Ireland. And while we're standing there, we hear a big, huge, like, poof, like a boom mm -hmm. from like the school. That was beside, it. and then over the school, there's like a twenty foot wall. These two guys jump over, and that we know them; they're friends of ours. And they said, "Oh, we just stole one of the construction uh, diggers, and we crashed it into the side of the building." The cops <laughs> saw us, so, so they ran this way. So then they ran off, right? Now, but I happened to be wearing like a black tracksuit, and <laughs> my friend was wearing a gray tracksuit. It was the same color as those two guys. So then the cops pull up, and then they arrested me and my friend, going, "You were the two kids we saw just run away," and we were like, "I promise you, we were not." And we, you weren't. We weren't. And you got in trouble for it. Well, but they got us. They brought us home to, to get us arrested, and mm -hmm. then they rang our fingerprints. And I go, "You're not going to find a single fucking fingerprint on this thing. It wasn't us." And then my yeah. dad was like, "It wasn't you." And I go, "I swear, I <laughs> promise you, I, it wasn't us." And then two weeks later, we did get arrested for stealing JCB. <laughs> so he goes, "I knew it was you." I go, "The first time wasn't. I swear, I still stand by this. The first time was not." 
<laughs> you had to get out of that rad town also if yeah. all there was to do was steal a digger a that's the most fun thing you can no, ever do no actually that seem really fun getting drunk it does and seem stealing very shit satisfying. from construction sites it does seem fun no I mean I, I used to I would steal these like um uh things the animals we were supposed to dissect in um science class and we would just like, curl them on the ball you know? you would just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my friend Kevin, he would take them and put them in like a sack or something. But there's something about yeah, the, it's just silly. It's just like an unnecessary thing yeah. to take a couple of frogs, and then we just like hurl them on a football field. Yeah. It's just fun to do, you know, obscenely dumb things. Uh, well, yeah. Like a little bit of destruction to public property is fun. Yes, you're, you're, we used yeah. to do that. Yeah, that's like, all. College kids always steal fucking traffic cones and stuff, right? You yeah. know, it's sort of just what you do. Yeah, we did a lot of that. I mean, I was always in trouble for some kind of nonsense like that. Yeah, and then we would go like. But I never wore my glasses because I thought they were really ugly. So I, I was, I got caught shoplifting a couple times because everybody else oh could see, God. and I'd just be glaring into the, like, this is the shop owner's <laughs> eyes, <laughs> and they'd be like, uh, "I think those Marlboros belong to us." <laughs> and I was like, "Fair, fair, fair." Yes, yeah, so I got caught more because I was blind. But oh, yeah, so you guys fun. are a little bit of shoplifting that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely not. I was always in in trouble, and we would. We would bring whippet tanks to school, which was very fun too. Whippets were fun. That was my drug. If I, I was not pot, never, but whippets. Whippets, yeah. Yeah. I only ever did them. Recently. It was a delightful time. I loved whippets. Yeah, for just, 20, just, for just, 20 just, seconds. You just laugh. Like you just, <laughs> it's just fun. It's the best hang ever. Yeah. You just inhale something and like hysterically laugh, you know? Yeah, it's not bad. And we would, I was doing really badly in school. So then they ended up putting me in this school called Thornton Friends, which everybody called Snorton Fiends because it was like where they sent all the bad kids. And then we would just do whippets at lunch. And my friend would bring like a whippets tank. It's got to have killed a lot of brain cells. What's that? It's got to have killed a lot. It can't be good, it's but it was have so fun. Emptied out brain cells. Well, we did poppers, but... What's I'm, the difference? I'm not really sure. Same feeling to me. Let's so go to a it, caller. It, <laughs> <laughs> Tell us I don't even comments. know who to ring the difference for the poppers no, and the stuff. I just... But we, because they used to sell... Them. There was like a farmer's market type of thing where they would sell poppers. Don't, I don't know. What. A farmer's market? That's I don't amazing. know if a farmer's, but it was like a market where they would sell like... There was a co-op <laughs> where we would get spinach and poppers. <laughs> they sell, it was like they would, it was like you know, a market. market. It was a market that sold everything like fruit and vegetables and then like fake knockoff designer handbags. And then there was also a place to sell poppers and you would get these little things and you just fucking get this head rush and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, that does seem I can't fun. imagine anything else probably killing more of my brain when I was a teenager and just ripping poppers. Yeah, it can't be good. But yeah. it was a good hang. Of course. Friends. You yeah. still do all that. I still do that, you know. Yeah, I was, that's the thing. That was why I was always in trouble because I was always like talking and mocking things. You nice. were always making fun of everything. Yeah, it's just hard to be. Yeah, whenever. well, I I used to be like a class clown early on and then it kind of just became disruptive, you know, later. You can see mm -hmm. from the report cards, there was always like very fun, like a joke to, and like one teacher's disruptive. And then it was like a couple of teachers, very disruptive. By the end of the school, it was like, <laughs> you cannot be in the school anymore. Get rid of them. More or less. Good hang. Yeah, but that's it. it never fucking. It was her goddamn loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck those teachers. Yeah, fuck those lovely teachers. I know, I know. Some poor, I, there was this one poor girl I do feel bad for. She was an American. right? So they sent her over for to be a student teacher, mm -hmm. which is like they only let them do first year of high school, which is secondary school. So we were all like mm -hmm. 13 years old, right? Yeah. And then she just had no authority. You know, like some teachers were able to just come in and say, everyone shut up and put out your books. She just would say stuff and be like, shut the fuck up type of weird shit. And apparently, so she would always send letters home, notes home to my mother saying, I'm bad, bad, bad. But all the other teachers loved me. So when there was like a parent teacher meeting, you mm -hmm. know, she went to all of the other teachers first and they, they all said, good student, good student, good student. And then she saved her for the end. And then when my mother went to her, the one was like, bad student, blah, 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 all this type of stuff. And then my mother goes, well, actually, have a look at all these other report cards. She goes, maybe the problem is you. <laughs> Ooh, I like that your I mom know. stuck up for you. I That's know. pretty cool. I know. Yeah. yeah, I found that out for my sister years later. But really? It, That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, but I was cool. a bad student. It was no... <laughs> yeah, your mom was wrong. Yeah, yeah, but, she's, yeah but she stuck yeah. with you. I like that. She yeah. was right or die. That's yeah, cool. that, but I was nice though, to figure that she did that, you know? And but she, then, and then, and then not to tell you. That's cooler too. Yeah, she didn't say no. Yeah, that's like smooth. That's like that's like the kind of character you want. Yeah, just somebody that does it and doesn't. Well, maybe not because I became a pretty bad student, getting suspended all the time, all the type of shit. You know? Yeah, that's fine. But who gives a fuck? Who cares? Who gives a fuck? It's long gone. Like, yeah, I mean, now that you're known for being, um, you know, a piece of shit, 
a piece of shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, Never that again. works with your new album, Bad Boy, which will be out on <laughs> Naughty Boy, which, yeah, it works with your, I don't know, I feel like, isn't that your whole thing that you don't play by the rules that you're wrapped in caution tape? I have no, please, Jesus somebody interrupt Christ. me. I don't know. I'm, I'm a saying. renegade. They did, they did that um, too. I was, I'm, um, I was playing Poughkeepsie, laughing up Poughkeepsie, and they tagged mm-hmm. me in something like, so I can't remember what it was, but they tagged me in the most embarrassing like title for like, hold on to your, strap onto your seats, kids, because yeah. this guy's about to get offensive. <laughs> it's like, not for the faint hearted or something like that. And I was like, geez, I had to share it going, this is the most embarrassing thing anyone's ever described me as. There was some comic that used to say, like, when you would bring him up, he'd be like, when I was hosting, when I started stand up, he'd be like, I'm like, what, what, what should I say about you? And he'd be like, just say he's not here to behave. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh you know what, God. sugar tits, here's all you need to know. Just say he's not behaving, all right? Yeah. That's all you need to know, sweetheart. That was always, yeah, it's the worst with the, like, the, the handcuffs and the caution. And he's like, he's crazy. He's going to say, <laughs> watch out. And, he's, and those are always like the most organized ones, too, that just like, you know, you had that all written down and ready. Like, you know, yeah. I feel like that kind of, he's like, just say he's misbehaving, sweetie. That's all. That's all they need to know Just can't him. help himself. Sorry, tuts. Hmm. Sorry, Tuts. And then he would just go on and do like normal whatever. Yeah, but it was always just like a series of imaginary risks. But yeah, my new thing now with comedy is I hate when comedians like do a joke and they go, hey, guys, these are jokes. I know. Like you go. And then nobody's groaning. Yeah. Yeah. But like, they go, oh, yeah. sorry, folks. You think I actually do want to molest a baby? These are jokes. Come on. <laughs> Pussies. And they're like, no one's even. Everyone's just like, what? <laughs> just do the joke and move on. I think. I know. It always infuriates me when, when, when a comic has that vibe of like, no one's ready for what I'm about to say. Yeah. Arrest me as soon as I get off this. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, no. Oh, sorry. You guys weren't warned. Yeah, because I feel like everybody's already done all the things. I mean, I like yeah. want to give you shit, but you're you don't really do that at all. But I just thought it'd be fun to say that you were known as the. I know. I said, well, yeah, I would. reckless. But you, yeah, you. Well, don't, the thing is, I don't like. I hate. I, I would. I would be a very much more offensive comedian. I think if it was just all people like me in an audience, you know what I mean. But I don't mm-hmm. like not doing well. As, you know, yes, what I mean? yeah. Thank God, that's why it's good to have people who look at you and go, "That's like bad," because then you goes, "All right, let me." Because if it was just me, it would be horrible. The jokes mm-hmm. would just be just about debt and killing had, babies, and, <laughs> <laughs> like it'd be, there'd be nothing. But, it'd be horrible. It would just be shock words for an hour. Yeah, yeah. But I want to hear a killing baby joke before you go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any good killing baby jokes. Uh-huh. I do have a joke I'm trying to do with pedophiles where I go. Really? Yeah, I go. Uh, I hope I'm, I'm not a pedophile yet, okay? Because uh-huh. I've never seen a kid and been like, oh, I like that. But I haven't seen all the kids. That's true. So what if there's just like... One kid. There's a smoke show out there. <laughs> smoke show is a good <laughs> yeah, word. Yeah, too. just I haven't met the one, you know? <laughs> and then one day you go, fuck. <laughs> everyone's, uh, you're right, everyone's um, three hairs away from uh, fucking a child. That's fair um, enough. No, but uh, I do feel like um, I do feel like uh, uh, I was trying to decide whether I should tell this story, but it's probably not. Well, I told. I'll just. I was on. Um, I could have been molested, but I wasn't by my math teacher because I was really bad at math and um, like. But he mol- he molested like a couple of other kids. Oh, and you were left out. Bridesmaid. Yeah. And it was a tutor, actually not a teacher, okay. but yeah, he tutored a couple of us. And um, oh. I found out actually like a few years ago that he'd molested just a, a gaggle of other girls. But I just remember him being just furious at me. Like not even, I didn't even, I didn't even remember like an uncomfortable <laughs> glance. He was just like, come on, your, Rachel. Your answer is- Jesus, a, it's not even the confusing part of the problem yet. It's just the, the beginning of a word problem. <laughs> Why should you have any question now? Like he was angry at me. Your answers I, are so bad that he yes. lost his horn, yeah. And I remember that his wife checked on us. Like now, like I remember that his wife was always like walking out of the room. Mm. And I do remember thinking that that was like strange, but- um. I just remember that she stopped after a while, probably because she was like, oh, he hates her. Like, she's infuriating him. Yeah. Because he was like, come on, Rachel. (laughs) He was always just so, like, fed up with. And I do think that I was just so dumb. He warmed down. That it saved me from a molesting. That's so funny. That's like somebody I fucking Because he molested a a good number of other. But yeah, I don't remember him. A healthy number. Yeah, a healthy number. (laughs) (laughs) But I don't even remember, like, a second glance for him. No, he wanted me the hell out of there. I infuriated him. Because he could. he just couldn't shove the information into my head 
Yeah. And I just feel like he thought I was being obstinate, but that's just how it was with math. Like I just, yeah. Like there's something about a word problem. I'm just like, I can't. That's so funny. Yeah. You're just so bad. And he was like, great. I'll get, and then he was I like, just, yeah, he wanted to. And he had, he had a move where you get the question four or five and then he'd have to fuck. Yeah, sure, oh, you're so good me. at, he had, he had a move where you go, you're so good at this. And then drop the hand, you know, like you're so good at this. And then you would never get a single one. Right. And like fluffed his whole, his, his lines all Did you up. Say fluffed his whole? You fl- no, you mean? fluffed his whole lines up. Not you his whole. working in these things. I don't know what that means. What no, you didn't fluff his whole. I said you fluffed his whole uh, game up. Oh, okay. You you, you fucked up his game. All right. I thought it was an old Dublin saying Fluffed his whole life. You could be. <laughs> Let's use it like, from right. now on. Did you, Fair enough. Fluffed his whole. Have you got out to plug to let the people yes, know? Yes. Um, I have Please. a Netflix special coming out on in May. It'll be my first hour on Netflix. That's great. And it's called nice. Big Guy. Big Guy? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Coming out on Netflix, we'll, I'm sure we'll all be sharing it, retweeting it. And you have other specials out that you want to promote that um, they can, they can see to, right now? If you go to YouTube, you can see one of my um, Comedy Central specials there. It's called Only Whores Wear Purple. Um, Because my grandma told me that when I was a a kid. She said, only whores wear purple. And then she also said, only whores uh, carry suitcases. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, really? You just have a suitcase and you're a godless whore? She's like, I'll tell you what they have in there. They have all (laughs) kinds of wrenches to cover their whoring. Little powders. Yeah. So it's Only Whores Wear Purple. That was my hour that I did. um, And it's now there airing it again. I think they're, they just put another one of my half hours on there nice. as well. But if you uh, follow me on Instagram at Rachel Feinstein underscore, I put all my new shows and stuff there. Great. Good stuff. I'm sure they'll come over and we're all excited for the special. Thank you. Thank you. It was you. a lot of fun. Thank you for having me. Fluff Hole will be the name of the special. I mean, Thanks. the episode. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.